everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances, if there is any reaction, both are transformed. Your visions will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside, dreams, who looks inside, awakes. I am not what happened to me, I am what I choose to become. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darknesses of other people. The pendulum of the mind oscillates between sense and nonsense, not between right and wrong. Every form of addiction is bad, no matter whether the narcotic be alcohol, morphine or idealism. People will do anything, no matter how absurd, to avoid facing their own souls. One does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. Mistakes are, after all, the foundations of truth, and if a man does not know what a thing is, it is at least an increase in knowledge if he knows what it is not. As far as we can discern, the sole purpose of human existence is to kindle the light of meaning in the darkness of mere being. Whatever is rejected from the self, appears in the world as an event. Thinking is difficult, that's why most people judge. Where wisdom reigns, there is no conflict between thinking and feeling. How can I be substantial if I do not cast a shadow? I must have a dark side also if I am to be whole. The greatest tragedy of the family is the unlived lives of the parents. Where love rules, there is no will to power, and where power predominates, love is lacking. The one is the shadow of the other. Through pride we are ever deceiving ourselves. But deep down below the surface of the average conscience a still, small voice says to us, something is out of tune. The creation of something new is not accomplished by the intellect but by the play instinct acting from inner necessity. The creative mind plays with the objects it loves.